The planet is a little less wise today after the loss of an American literary giant, the author of more than a dozen books and a founding father of what we now call new journalism. Tom Wolfe died yesterday at 88. Wolfe was something of a modern-day Shakespeare, inventing or popularizing phrases like pushing the envelope, radical chic, the me decade, masters of the universe, and good old boy. And he's the author of my all-time favorite book about the worst of Wall Street, The Bonfire of the Vanities, which, by the way, is also my least favorite movie, one of the only truly bad films Tom Hanks has ever made. But Wolf's book, The Right Stuff, another phrase he brought into the American lexicon, made for a great movie, all about John Glenn and the team of Mercury astronauts. Martin, I'm at eight. She's getting real active. Wait a minute. We did it! We finally broke the sound barrier. Wolf is also known for breaking barriers as a reporter, using the detailed prose and personal impressions that are common in fiction to capture the spirit of the psychedelic era, the New York culture elite's romance with Black Panthers. California surfer boys with their gold-tipped hair. And he was also known for his own style in those famous white suits. According to the New York Times, once asked to describe his get-up, Mr. Wolf replied brightly, neo-pretentious. In 1998, Wolf told CBS's Morley Safer his career as an author didn't start as planned after college. In the next month, I'm writing obituaries in some town called Springfield, Massachusetts. But 30 years later, he was writing these words in the bonfire of the vanities. You, you wasp charity ballers, sitting on your mounds of inherited money up in your co-ops with the 12-foot ceilings. Words that cement his legacy in strong imagery, sharp social commentary, and an unparalleled mastery of the English language, he will be missed.